I know you, I walked with you once upon a dream. I know you, the gleam in your eye is so familiar, a gleam. Okay, that was a little bit twisted. On to the intro music. friends, welcome to another exciting episode of Hashtag YouTube Tag Thursdays where I find something to do or talk about and then talk about it or do it on this video. So Disney's always been a staple in my life. In fact, many people that I know, Disney movies have always been that one thing that keeps people going because it's really entertaining movies, makes you happy, you feel great at the very end, but did you know that some of the most famous uh, famous tales are actually originally novels and all of them have some very 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 gruesome moments thank god for disney who decided to cut those gorier parts so it saves us on the therapy bills thank you disney so i thought it'd be a great idea to actually compare both the original no original story fairy tale with the disney movie so let's get started all right, so the first story we have is going to be Cinderella. Now, in the uh, original Brothers Grimm fairy tale of Cinderella, it is told uh, pretty much exactly the same way, except for instead of a fairy godmother, it is a tree that is right near her mother's grave that she prays to every day. Instead of three balls, there is one, and uh, for each ball, there is a dress that is waiting for her underneath her mother, uh, underneath this tree. And it gets even more gruesome because the stepsisters, during the fitting, start to cut off their toes and their heels so that it can fit into the shoe. A uh, flock of doves appear by, they tell the prince that there is blood, so they are not the real ones, and then the shoe fits. Yay! So then, story number two is The Little Mermaid. So in the Hans Christian Andersen version, the stories are pretty much the same, only except uh, instead of just turning back into a mermaid and staying with Ursula for the rest of her life, um, it is betrothed that Ariel will die. Um, and then when she gets her legs, she, when she walks, she feels the sensation of sharp shards of glass on her feet with every step she takes. Then Eric actually falls in love with another woman. Then voices say, you can still be a mermaid if you can kill the prince. So she doesn't do that because she really likes him. So she actually kills herself by flinging her body into the ocean. She turns into sea foam. <gasps> Isn't that a happy ending? Yay. Okay, so then the next one we're gonna be talking about is Beauty and the Beast. Now in Gabrielle Suzanne, something something, it's a long ass name, my iPad died, so I can't really say off the name, Davila Nawoof. Um, the, both stories are exactly the same, except her father is rich and ran into some debt, and she has two evil stepsisters. Uh, so in the story, the beast lets her free um, and says she needs to, as long as she is only gone for one week. And the stepsisters got pretty jelly, jelly, jealous of her luxurious life, so they attempt to keep her for an, for longer than a week, so that when she goes back into the castle, um, the beast would pretty much eat her alive. Evil bitches. Then the final story I kind of saved for last because I really wanted to have this one be the most important one, and that is Pinocchio. Now, in Carlo Collodi's 1883 novel of The Adventures of Pinocchio, as soon as he is learns to walk, Pinocchio books it like a shifty motherfucker. Um, the police then catch him, only to find that, uh, and then think that Geppetto was abusing him, so they arrest Geppetto, which makes no fucking sense. So then Pinocchio goes home, and then he finds this talking cricket, which he thinks is weird, so he kills the cricket. Cricket comes back as a ghost going, hey dude, you need to learn how to be obedient, and you need to learn about the pleasures that will put you through that dark ass path. So does he listen? Obviously not, because, well then, Geppetto tries, gets then released, finds Pinocchio, goes, dude, you need to really go to like school. You need to learn and get an education. So Pinocchio then gets school books and sells them to get a ticket to the Great Marionette Theater and in the process gets caught by a fox and cat um, 
and things happen to where he cuts off one of their hands, makes one of them blind, and after that they steal his money and attempt to unsuccessfully hang him, and shit goes down. Eventually, Geppetto gets caught by a dogfish, just in place of a whale, um, or the whale is in place of that dogfish because it's really weird, and eventually he shapes up and becomes a real boy. Oh my god, really fucking demented. Alright, so I hope you don't get any nightmares from that. So this particular list I actually found from Huffington Post. So I'm going to include a link down below into the description of, because there's more. There's actually more stories featured in them that are very, very more interesting that I decided to keep out of this video because the video would be hella long. Um, if you liked this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe um, to this vid to, to what you see. Um, there's always new videos posted. Now starting Monday, I'm actually going to be releasing a new hashtag YouTube Musical Monday featuring um, the twins, so hopefully you guys get to see that. I'm very excited for that. Um, and there's a new hot vlog coming up soon uh, because we are getting into the season of hot. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, so stay tuned. Um, I'm, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, my name is Forrest, and remember, pink cake.